You know, I think you got the wrong impression about me. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. And I've always claimed that Jesus was my savior. Strong delusion isn't just one thing. It's a lot of things. It's a satanic effort that's taken this one's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. Sananda Manuel, just so you know, this master Jesus, claims and admits that Sanat Kumra, who's another ascended master, is his father. Sanat Kumra is another name for Satan. Did you know that? Yeah. It's one of the ascended masters. He says he's Satan. So now, all you gotta do is rearrange two letters there and you got Satan. Just like Santa Claus. Arrange a couple letters in Santa, you got Satan. Hmm. Imagine that. Just like the planet Saturn, which is the sixth planet from the sun, number six. That's correlated with Satan too. Saturn, Satan. Very, very similar in their makeup. There's no correlation. I see it's all just coincidence. But yet you've got this Adonis looking long haired version of Jesus in all these churches. With, I love it when they got the halo on it, which is the Egyptian sun disk, which is even more, makes it more occultic. It's not what Jesus looks like. I got a picture of the standard looking. The Bible says that there was no beauty in him that we would even desire him. I don't think Jesus was a good looking man. Most churches today have pictures of the Sananda Emmanuel Jesus, this master Jesus, hanging in them somewhere. Most believers correlate this picture of Jesus that they see as the real Jesus when it is really Sanand Emmanuel who, who will come to earth playing Jesus, the Son of God. A very good deception. The church was groomed for hundreds of years for this one. Do you know how many people are going to fall away just from this one alone? Do you see how important this one little thing I'm covering right now really could be for a lot of people? They've hung their hat on this one thing. I know how that's going to go down. It's part of the strong delusion. Okay, it's, I'm gonna, just going to do a video here. Uh, quickly, but they never wind up that way, do they? Um, about this, this whole thing with what's going on with Christianity. Let me explain something to you. The word Christianity is a, is, is a misnomer. Let's backtrack where this all started. The Catholic Church built an empire off, off a sentence that Jesus supposedly said to Peter, and he said, you will be the rock of the church. Well, Jesus never would have said that because the word church was created in about the 14th century, and it's a Masonic word, um, which comes from a Roman... Uh, or I'm sorry, it's, it's, let me rephrase it. It is a Masonic word which comes from the word Kirk, as in Captain Kirk, like, like the starship. Um, that word Kirk comes from the mythological creature called Circe, which was a creature, pay attention, that would hypnotize people, lure, lure them into her house, and then feed off of them. Sounds like a church. So Jesus never would have used the word church. And on top of it, Jesus being that of the Jewish persuasion would have used the word temple. He never would have said the word church. So we know that that's a fraud. Um, my belief in Jesus Christ is based off of everything that the Christian church is not. See, the reason that the Christian church is hated or the, the Christians are hated is because all people see on the news is the, is the vileness that, that, that the Vatican does. Raping children, murdering, satanic sacrifice. Come on, we all know it's true. You know it's true, I do too. But the Christians, the real ones, have nothing to do with the church. Nothing. Zero zilch, we don't even look at it, we don't even consider it. So, you know, the next time you go to open your mouth and scream that somebody's a Christian, make sure that you understand we don't like the church any more than you don't like the church. Because I've been sitting here trying to tell you guys that the Christian religion is based off of Saturnalian worship. It has been from the beginning. And that comes from a select group. And I'm not going to point fingers, but you'll figure it out. Um, the ones that claim that they're the children of so said individual. Um, and so you've been duped. 
I'm sorry, it's a fact. It's a fact. I, I, there's no way that I can get around it. But it's the truth. There's no real Christian that's involved with the church in any way, shape, or form. You see, the church is, is an extension of the government. It falls under the, I think, it's, I think it's called the 503C law, which states that the church becomes sovereign with the state. And in that case, the church is not taxed because it is the government. The government doesn't tax itself. And so you can't go into a church and get the truth because I was raised a Lutheran, yeah? Uh, that guy, he has a job. And, and in that job, he has to stay within the guidelines of his job. He can't come out and start talking the stuff that I talk because if he does, he'll be fired because, see, because it's a business. It's nothing personal, it's just a business. It's all about the money, see? It's got nothing to do with truth. See, if the guy really cared, he'd say, you know where this came from? And he would go off on tangents, but he can't. Because he'll, lo he'll lose his house, which is the church. So he doesn't say anything. No Christian in his right mind is affiliated with the church in any way, shape, or form. And I have to wake up. There are no such thing as churches. Churches are lodges, okay? If you were raised as a Lutheran, you belong to a Lutheran lodge. If you were raised as a Catholic, you raise it. You go to the Catholic lodge. Okay. If people think a church is different than a Masonic lodge, you're crazy. The Masons have the contracts, and they built all the churches, all of them, and all the cathedrals. And if you understand what you're looking for in a church, you can find Masonic symbology in every church across the United States and in the world. So they are not churches per se. The word doesn't even apply as a place of worship for Christ. It is a lodge. It is controlled by the same individuals. When you finally understand that church is nothing more than a Masonic lodge with a different name, because you wouldn't want to go by the by the by the Masons, they're devil worshippers, right? But you're gonna go over here to the fucking Lutheran Church, which is a subsidiary of the Catholic Church. It's the same thing. Your spirituality is what sets you apart. Okay, not the name of some fr uh, Masonic fraternal institution, which they which they tricked you into believing into. You better wake up and understand, because we're running out of time. That's something that the Roman Empire thought up thousand, two thousand years ago, and it's ruled this world ever since. So I want you to look at how perverted this shit really goes. Hey, okay? we can, you know, bet, bet that that's that's Hebrew Masonic Kabbalistic, which has done nothing more than to drive the real reality of Christianity farther into the dirt, because these fucks are working for the other side. the real reality of Christianity farther into the dirt because these fucks are working for the other side. Ugh. 
Well, that's a very entertaining story, but unfortunately, real detectives have to worry about that little thing called evidence. Uh oh, I think I heard a toilet flush. <laughs> Maybe somebody lost a turtle. <laughs> I guess I'm a little out of my lead here. Oh, there is just one more thing, Lieutenant. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh?